Um, well, the big, the big thing I think, which I guess you've already been told, is there's a three-year um, gap in between them. So there's, yeah. there's, there is uh, immediately. I think you're seeing Camelot in a different, in a different state. You know, his state. You know, the one that 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 he's wanted to be, and and Merlin find his his place in that as well. I think there's definitely a maturing in general of the whole of the whole series. I think. Um, because the setting and the and the ruling has matured and and that's forced us to as well. But the banter's still there between between the two characters because that's who they'll always be, even though their situations are a lot more serious. Um, and and yeah, things uh, things are serious. There's stuff happening up north in the frozen lands, which I'm sure Morgana told you about this morning. Um, and, and and yeah, that's that, that drives us on to into. What I think sets a really high standard for the, for the rest of the series, which is the opening two-parter. I think yeah, it's got progressively darker. I think through through the, the series, and I think this um, this is its mo at its most sophisticated darkness. I'd say, okay. in terms of um, in, in what we've done so far. I can't yeah. better that at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the one point to pick up on purely from my character's point of view is, is that we've <coughs> got a lot closer to the Camelot that Arthur's been trying to achieve and um, yeah and it's 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 having got there it's now under threat you put it so well I can't I really can't <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, I suppose everybody kind of would appreciate having a relationship with someone um, in the way that Arthur and Merlin do. They're the best of friends. They go through a lot together and they're always there for each other. Um, it's sort of protected by this servant-master um, kind of guise and so there's always a barrier there but that perhaps uh, is part of what helps the relationship to maintain I guess it's normality I'm not sure that's the right word but um I think that relates to people. I think everybody would like to have a, you know, everybody, every Merlin would like to have a friend like Arthur and every Arthur would like to have a friend like Merlin. And I think um, we'd all like to have someone in our lives who we could depend on that much. I think. Locations, probably we, on the hottest day of the year, we, we <laughs> shot um, in what was supposed to be a frozen landscape. Roasting. And they were like, could you, could you shiver more? <laughs> no, we could sweat more. Yeah. And we're getting snow blindness as well. It was, just, it was essentially just a big reflector yeah. over your face the whole time. So you were just going. Um, yeah, that was, but I, that I think that stuff's going to look awesome. I mean, yeah. yeah. Wait, was, that out, was that out in France? No, that was, that was here. It was in Wales. Oh, right. It's just a very hot, hot day. It was boiling. It was a surprisingly hot for Wales. You don't, you don't get to those days. <laughs> it just so happened that the days that we did get those in Wales was the days when it was supposed to be snowy and freezing cold. Any other day of the year, we'd have been fine. There'd been no acting required. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they spread the whole place with it. Didn't they? Just, um, the prop guys did something. It looked snowy. It <laughs> looked awesome. It was really cool. Did you have to do the old ice cubes trick? To to get the breath. Never heard of the ice cream show. Oh, I'll yeah. use that next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, I think it's one of those things that when you get to range doing stunts, you're just, you're just doing it and you're thinking, uh, probably has to think a lot more technically in terms of like sequences. Mm -hmm. um, I'm normally running from things, so you know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, no, no acting required really, just run. Um, but yeah, I think I think but you've picked up on it really quickly, like in terms of what? Like how many times you need to watch like a sequence like once or twice and then you're, you're kinda of there. I think my my brain is kind of uh, attuned to what what is required of the various physical requirements of the show. <coughs> and so a lot of the time we'll, we'll have a stunt rehearsal and um, it, it's sort of very it's a very quick process now. It used to be a sort of shrouded in health and safety and that's disappeared now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now they don't care. Now, uh, <laughs> I've lulled them all into a false sense of security. Um, it's a great part of the job. It's, it's you know, I, I, if I was a kid and you were to mm -hmm. tell me I would be doing this, I'd be 
be jumping up and down with excitement because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I never really, he never really left me. <laughs> People who know me best. He was, he was still very, very uh, present in my life. As Colin said earlier, we're, we're three years on. Um, I think whenever you lose anyone, I think there's always uh, moments in your life when you will take time to reflect on uh, that person. Um, and when you do, uh, you know, there can be quite heavy times. Um, we, it's touched on, this series, uh, for Arthur, because... Uh, although it's three years on, I think you know the audience perhaps is still is still an adjustment for them as well. Um, so yeah, there there is a moment to respect the idea that you know Arthur has come from the tutor tutelage of of his father, which is from the audience's point of view only recently kind of disappeared. Uh, I think the marks, I mean, mark changes is is the. I, th I think is the fact that he's he's the king, that he's the one where everything's on his on his shoulders, um, which which essentially puts everything on, on Merlin's shoulders as well. Um, so there's a I, th I think it's the fact that everything that the the stakes have been raised, that it's no there's no there's no division of of, of the responsibility now that it's that it's. It's him who has to make the decision, and you know the question of is it always the right decision, or is there sometimes maybe there's a personal vendetta from past events that, have, that come into play that that Murder needs to think about how he advises Arthur now. And it's not just about his his magical power; it's the power of his words and his advice that has to come into play too. And and that's always a big learning and. Of course, Merlin's always aiming towards that future, that goal, that dream that he's always had and that he's always strived for. And the one person who can put that in place is is the king, and and he he is the king now. So so that time feels very close. Merlin is definitely, I feel this this season becoming uh, a lot more independent of of Gaius. He's become a lot more independent of in general. I think. Uh, that a lot of times he's not, he's not he's not so he's not so active in going for advice now from people. He's often going and saying this is this is how it is, and you know is it right? Rather than going tell me what to do, it's it's um, so the relationship is still. I guess it's gets it's it's almost that stage where he's ready to leave home, and. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he's still, you know, he'll still uh, be home for breakfast, you know, breakfast and <laughs> you know, he'll still turn off for that. And um, yeah, there's some some nice stuff we're doing this this season. I, thought, I, thought, I mean, it's the fact that you. Um, I think I think wife, everyone's it's... settled into their their roles mm. a lot more. I mean, there's there's been that three year jump. So Arthur's been the king for three and almost four years at the start of this. Merlin's been playing the role of the servant. Guinevere's been playing the role of the queen, and I think everything's settled in. I th I think the sh the the format of the show, uh, it would be difficult to uh, have Merlin playing the role that he does. Um, I think it's without being there to instruct yeah. Arthur at moments. Yeah. So. He's learning in, in that regard. In, I think he's learning in, in respect to the fact that um, he doesn't always have all the answers, mm -hmm. and uh, he's able to, you know, find out from uh, to, to get help from whatever avenue he needs to to, to get the thing to get the job done.